first of all i am happy that there were seven questions last time there was only one question i was pretty depressed this time seven questions and uh, secondly i am also very happy that we covered all these seven questions in our uh, mission classes so uh, let us start with uh, the psychiatry first question uh, this question i think all of you must have gotten correct this question is a, a direct uh, previous year question a woman planning for pregnancy which of the following drugs must be avoided this exact question exact language was asked by inict or need be a couple of years back and all of us know that the answer is well provided for neural tube defects right so sabko pata hai all of you must be aware of this well provided no confusion theek hai second question all right second question or again a very standard question we have discussed this in details that in acute mania what all drugs can we use we know that we can use mood stabilizers we can use antipsychotics so we have got two mood stabilizers here we also know we will we can use antipsychotics incidentally in the class also we took the example of haloperidol only so inict okay. gave haloperidol only thankfully so 1 2 and 3 are correct option b again i am sure all of you must have gotten this question correct theek hai third question all right third question uh, which was a googly uh, interestingly this this line is a direct lift from niraj ahuja book the a short textbook of psychiatry this exact same line he has given so a patient with schizophrenia comes and says uh that lord hanuman was celibate i am celibate too so i am lord hanuman which thought abnormality is present in this patient i think lot of students got it uh, incorrect the right answer is autistic thinking only this is a kind of it is called as syllogism von dommerus law basically in autistic thinking what do we study that there is a lot of fantasy th thinking right patient makes random rules so in this patient is saying lord hanuman is celibate i am celibate so i am lord hanuman this is autistic thinking verbiage verbigeration you could have easily ruled out it's a kind of perseveration it has to be done repetitively neologism you should have ruled out there is no new word here and in loosening of association i think a lot of you mark loosening of association but see there is loss of context in loosening of association yahan kahan ho raha hai right there is pro proper context here so the answer is a autistic thinking i think a large number of you found this question difficult it's okay chalta hai all right next question uh, all of the following statements are correct except so i think uh, you could have looked at the option c and could have answered that this is the wrong statement flumazenil is used for benzodiazepine toxicity it has got nothing to do with the long term management of alcohol dependence this is correct opioid intoxication can be fatal opioid withdrawal is rarely fatal this is of course right buprenorphine is used for the management of opioid withdrawal and this is also right cannabis does not really cause any physical symptom mostly irritability and all even if you did not know all of these you could have just looked at option c and you should have marked it so flumazenil is the is used for the management of long term management of alcohol dependence is uh, incorrect theek hai chaliye all right which of the following statements is incorrect now this is a slightly controversial question we'll have to think more about it but is the language correct guys isme thoda help kariye please help me was this written in the question In the exam, alcohol in low dose causes brain stimulation, and in higher doses causes brain suppression. Yeh tha kya? Exact yeh rain thi. Was this the treat? Uh, the exact line? Okay. so students are saying is the exact line so now that makes this a slightly controversial question alcohol in low dose can cause behavioral stimulation that is correct you know you must have seen people dancing and singing and doing all serious stuff after taking alcohol but at the level of brain alcohol is always a cns depressant right alcohol is always a cns depressant what we see as stimulation is a behavioral stimulation or behavioral excitation so if this was the language then the the statement a is incorrect cannabis use can result in self driven repetitive behavior this is a very vague, vague line was this the line can you can you verify this was this the line cannabis use can result in self driven repetitive behavior ye thi kya was this the line cannabis use can result in self driven 
repetitive behavior. So if this was the line, see, any substance can lead to repetitive behavior of seeking of drug, right? Drug seeking behavior. So probably they are talking about it. This is of course correct. And inhalation agents can all, of course be toxic. So looking at these options, A appears to be the best answer because alcohol is a CNS depressant at all dosages. That behavioral excitation is something different. Okay, but a googly thing. All right, which of the following is not an ICD-10 diagnostic criteria for depression? We remember the mnemonic, size caps. Size is sadness of mood. I is loss of interest. E is low energy levels, right? Energy level, low mood, loss of interest. Option D is not a part of diagnostic criteria. We remember the mnemonic, size caps. I hope you got this one right. And the last question, uh, I hope you guys remember me telling you about Elon Musk. That Elon Musk has said that he uses ketamine to manage his depressive symptoms. And here it is. This question was waiting to be given in the exam. I mean, I was waiting that question will come and So, the new psychoactive agent which can be used for rapid onset of action in management of depression is, of course, ketamine. Okay? So, great, great, great. These were the seven questions. I hope all of you got at least five, four, six correct. And if you were able to to think properly, you should have gotten 7 out of 7 correct. Okay.